San Antonio or Austin? Two of Texas's biggest cities that are just a short drive apart. And today we are going to go into everything you need to know about living in San Antonio, Texas versus Austin, Texas. And we're getting started now. Howdy guys, this is Michael McCall, your real estate agent here in San Antonio, Texas. And today we are going to get into everything you need to know about living in San Antonio, Texas versus Austin, Texas. Frequently these cities are compared. I mean, for good reason. They're only 80 miles apart. Um, some have even gone so far to say that San Antonio and Austin are going to become the next Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. Kind of suggesting that it may even be called San Austin or Austin-Tonio, which... I don't know about you, but I don't particularly like either of those, but uh, there's there's so much to get into with these guys. Uh, we're going to go into a whole bunch of different things. We're going to talk about real estate, of course. We're going to talk about transportation. We're going to talk about the culture in each of these cities. We're going to talk about food, of course. Can't go, go wrong with talking about food. We're going to talk about the schools, and we're going to talk about a whole bunch of just different things that um, each of these cities have to have to offer and what each of them do better than the other and vice versa you know so we're gonna get into that but first uh, as always guys if you have any desire at all to learn about everything and anything San Antonio hit that subscribe button and hit that little bell so you're always notified when I post new videos uh, also if you have any questions whatsoever if you have anything you'd like to add to this uh, definitely comment below hit that little like button too I'm always appreciating you guys' feedback on these videos. And of course, if you guys are moving to the San Antonio area or anywhere around here, or even if you're moving to Austin and you need a real estate agent out there, let me know, guys. I would be more than happy to help you guys. I absolutely love getting those phone calls, text messages, and emails from you guys all the time. And I'm always looking for more people that I can help here in San Antonio and the Central Texas area. Now, let's get into everything you need to know about two of the fastest growing cities in the entire United States. Let's go. First thing we're going to talk about is a pretty obvious one, and that's real estate. And whenever I say obvious, I mean it should be no surprise to you guys. If you're watching this video by now, you probably know that Austin is way more expensive than San Antonio. San Antonio has a median price point of around two hundred eighty thousand, whereas Austin, currently in the summer of uh, two thousand twenty-one, is right around four hundred sixty-five thousand. Big, big difference, guys. So. One of the main things that you have to look at for the reason why this is the case is because Austin has such little inventory. Right now, if you go look at houses under 300,000 in Austin or San Antonio, in Austin you find only 212 listings. In San Antonio, you're over 4,000 homes under $300,000. Austin has such a big demand for housing because of all the big tech companies coming to Austin because of the tech companies already there and because of all the other jobs that Austin has and the little inventory causes these bidding wars and has these people that are coming for these big tech companies that have a lot of money that they can spend cash over uh, appraisal appraise values for these houses. So it just drives the values up astronomically. I mean, there's some areas in Austin that have seen over 60% growth in prices between 2021 and 2020. I mean, that's just unbelievable. And it's just hard to fathom how that's even possible from one year to the next. San Antonio, on the other hand, is, is still really extreme from what it normally is in that 67% growth. Right now, we're, we're seeing growth in, in the range of 15 to 25%, which is still incredibly high, but it doesn't touch that you know 40 to 50% average growth in, in Austin that you're seeing in a lot of these places. One other thing that uh, is another big benefit for Austin, even though the price is not quite you know a benefit at all, uh, your property tax rates are a little bit lower in Austin. In Austin, in the city limits, you're around 2.2, 2.3%, whereas in San Antonio, you're at 2.6 to 2.7%. The second thing we're going to get into is the cost of living. Now, I looked at uh, one specific website for this, and that's bestplaces.net. It has uh, cost of living comparisons for all over the country for different cities. And whenever you look at Austin and San Antonio, it's comparing you know the average of the United States to be that you know right at 100 and anything above that is gonna be higher than the national average. Anything below that's gonna be below the national average. So when you look at San Antonio, San Antonio's cost of living index is an 89.7. So that's about 10% below the national average. When you look at Austin, on the other hand, you're at over 119 on that scale. I mean, it's it's a 20% 
increase over the national average and a 30% difference overall between San Antonio and Austin. Now, the big, big, big driver for this is, of course, housing, like I just mentioned. I mean, when you have almost double the prices for housing, that's going to really affect what uh, the, your cost of living is. The, uh, the overall for, for groceries, utilities, transportation costs in general, those types of things are about the same between the two otherwise. So it's really just the housing that drives that cost of living index so high. Third thing we're gonna get into is transportation. So it's no question that in most Texas cities, you really need a car. I mean, it, it's, it's really not a very friendly state whenever it comes to having a lot of public transportation. It's nothing like the LA's or the New York cities or any of those other big time, uh, big cities like that. In San Antonio specifically, we have very little public transportation, whereas in Austin, uh, it's a little bit better. So overall, the citizens of Austin would say that the public transportation is subpar. But in a recent study that was done among uh, the, the cities that have a, the biggest need for public transportation, Austin actually ranked fourth in their public transportation availability. And a lot of that had to do with the cost. Their, their average cost, uh, from what I saw was that on public transportation for a yearly cost is around $500. Very, very minimal whenever it comes down to that, which is what helped drive Austin to be a little bit higher ranked in that score. San Antonio, I don't even think it's on the list. It's very, very, very low in the public transportation side of things. But VIA, which is the big public transportation, uh, the big bus provider here, they are doing a lot here lately to really increase the availability of public transportation and make San Antonio a lot more friendly when it comes to people that do need public transportation. Another big thing is traffic. So Austin, Austin traffic is something you guys do not want to deal with. I, I could tell you personally, uh, my mom actually worked in Austin for the longest time for uh, 10 plus years and she commuted from out of town into Austin and there were days where it took her two hours to get out of the city. I mean, it was just insane. 35 going through Austin is one of the worst worst places, one of the worst places that you can be stuck in in congested rush hour traffic at five o'clock on a Friday. I can promise you that it is not a place that you want to be. That is another reason why there's a lot of these toll roads that go all around Austin so that you can avoid that downtown I-35 congestion. Austin itself ranks 14th among the worst cities in the country as far as traffic congestion. San Antonio, on the other hand, ranks 43rd. It's actually the best ranking overall out of all of the Texas metro areas. One of the big reasons, and I've mentioned this in some of my other videos before that you guys can go check out, is that San Antonio is very big overall, and the roads themselves are actually pretty well organized. You have two loops that kind of circle the city. You have the Loop 410 that circles downtown and the inner city, and then 1604, which loops everything else. You have several big highways that go to the northwest, northeast, and then out east and west. I mean, so there's a lot of different places you can kind of go around things whenever traffic gets bad, and so it makes a lot of it makes it a lot easier for people to to get around. When it comes to walkability, this is really not even close. San Antonio is very very low. Uh, on the walkability side of things, Austin is much, much better. You have a lot better walkability because of all of the inner city uh, amenities that Austin has and all of the you know housing availability you know, as far as apartments, condos, townhomes, those things that are right in downtown that make it a lot easier for people to walk around Austin. Outside of the immediate downtown area, I mean the immediate downtown area, very small area, there's very little walkability in San Antonio. So if that's something you're looking for, keep that in mind as well. When it comes to things to do, Austin and San Antonio are both big time powerhouses. There are big tourism industries in both places, but for many different reasons. When you look at sports, San Antonio is the only one with a, a really prominent professional team in the San Antonio Spurs, big NBA team. Austin doesn't really have that. This year, however, they did get a major league soccer team, which is growing in popularity quite rapidly actually uh, Austin FC is a uh, is a popular program I've seen a lot just within the last couple months since they've started and that is really gaining steam is a very popular thing to do in, in, in Austin is to go see that uh, soccer team play however you do also have the University of Texas Longhorns in, in Austin football days on Saturdays in, in Austin when there's a home game for the Longhorns it is just a madhouse everywhere San Antonio doesn't quite have that big prominent college pride UTSA is is very prominent, uh, but when it comes to sports, they are not quite as big time as the UT Longhorns. They are Division One, but again, they are not quite to that level. 
that doesn't take away from the fact that San Antonio actually does have big time bowl game every year. They had the Valero Alamo Bowl every single year where you have two of the best programs in the country that come to play for their bowl game. A lot of times it is UT Longhorns, so San Antonio gets a little bit of that every now and then. Uh, most of the time it is a Texas team against uh, another team from another part of the country, and that's always a big time draw for a lot of people here locally as well. When it comes to baseball, both are pretty even. You have the San Antonio Missions, which is a minor league baseball team here in San Antonio, and then Austin has the Round Rock Express. Both are great programs. Both are a lot of fun to go watch. I've been to games on both programs, both teams, and I really enjoy both of them about as equally as the other. So like I mentioned, tourism is big in both Austin and San Antonio. In Austin, you obviously have the state capital. You have Zilker Park. You have Lady Bird Lake. You have the Formula One races at Circuit of the Americas. And you can also see the bats off of Congress Avenue. That's always something I haven't yet to do, but I've always been really interested in going and doing that. In San Antonio, on the other hand, you have quite a big variety of things. You have the San Antonio Missions historical site, you have the Alamo, you have the Riverwalk downtown, you also have Six Flags Fiesta Texas and SeaWorld, you have Natural Bridge Wildlife Ranch and Natural Bridge Caverns, and you have several big time museums like the San Antonio Museum of Art and the McNay. In addition, the nightlife in both cities is not too bad. Austin, I would personally say, probably takes the cake on that. Sixth Street is extremely popular all over Central Texas and nationally and downtown Riverwalk in San Antonio is also a big time draw for a lot of people. But when it comes to true nightlife, I would say that Austin and 6th Street probably has the edge there. Now another big draw for these tourist heavy cities is their yearly festivals and activities. Austin of course has the huge, huge, huge South by Southwest and ACL, where San Antonio has the world renowned San Antonio Rodeo as well as the 11 day crazy awesome Hispanic culture party that is known as Fiesta. For your job opportunities in San Antonio and Austin, they are very, very different. So Austin is very, very heavy on their tech and government jobs. Austin being the capital of Texas, of course, and then also being homes to big corporate branches of Apple and Facebook, whereas San Antonio is Military City USA. So we have a very big military presence here with all of the bases that we have surrounding the city. We have um, also big government contract jobs with aerospace industry here, and we also have big time healthcare. Austin also is a big time healthcare location as well. Both are big with education. San Antonio has UTSA, Incarnate Word, Trinity, uh, a bunch of the uh, Alamo Community Colleges, and then of course all the high schools, so their education is huge. Austin, you have several colleges as well. University of Texas at Austin, Concordia, you have St. Edwards, and then of course all the high schools that surround there and all the Austin Community Colleges. In addition, San Antonio also has a pretty big IT presence and they're no tech, they're no short of tech. We have uh, branches here from Microsoft and we also have the big Rackspace campus. We are also big on retail. We have the headquarters for HEB, which is the number one grocery store chain here in Texas and it is by far and away the best thing that you will find whenever it comes to grocery store shopping here whenever you come to San Antonio and Austin. Schools are pretty evenly matched for the most part. San Antonio being bigger has 482 public schools where Austin has 312 so it's a little bit of a difference there but not a huge difference but whenever you look at the overall ratings of the schools looking at txschools.gov both are pretty evenly matched. When you look at the A rated schools both have around 80 five or so A-rated schools. San Antonio actually has a little bit less at 82 and Austin has 87. So if you're looking at comparing numbers to numbers, Austin having about equal to San Antonio's A-rated school has a higher percentage of A-rated schools because they have less schools. So take that for what it's worth, but both are very well off whenever it comes to high-rated schools. When it comes to culture, this is really probably one of the biggest reasons that people choose either Austin or San Antonio to move to. Both are known as gateways to the Texas Hill Country. So the north part of San Antonio and the west part of Austin have that gorgeous Hill Country scenery that everybody loves. Now, the big difference for me, and I can tell you personally, I grew up very close to both of these cities and I've lived here my entire life. So I have visited both of these places many, many times and I love both places for everything that they have to offer. Austin is very much embraced that hipster keep Austin weird city vibe that everybody knows Austin for. And San Antonio has really embraced, of course, the vibrant Hispanic culture. Austin is just known for having those little weird things about them. You know, they you go downtown and you see, like for me one time, I can remember specifically 
being downtown Austin and seeing a guy in a gorilla suit just casually walking down the road by himself. For what reason, I have no idea, but that's just one of my main examples of Keep Austin Weird. San Antonio with Fiesta, that is the that is everything that you need to know about the Hispanic culture of San Antonio. Um, if you come to Fiesta, you will see all walks of life down there embracing the Hispanic culture of San Antonio. One of the great things about both of these towns being so close together is that you really don't have to sacrifice one or the other if you're having to live or choosing to live in one or the other. You can live in Austin or you can live in San Antonio and decide one morning you wake up and hey I want to go to Austin for today or I want to go to San Antonio for today or I want to go downtown to the Riverwalk tonight or I want to go to 6th Street tonight. It, it's so great to be able to do that and just be a short drive away. It is one of the many benefits that you cannot get in some of these other cities. I mean, if you choose Houston, I mean, you have Houston. That's it. You're two and a half hours away from anything else. Same thing with Dallas-Fort Worth. I mean, you're, you have everything Dallas-Fort Worth has to offer, but you can't get to Austin in a day. I mean, for a day trip, it's really difficult to do. I guess you could do it. Uh, but that's one of the big benefits of living in the central Texas area is that you have both of these very different and very awesome areas that you can enjoy no matter where you live. So now let's get into one of my favorite things to talk about is food. Now, I'll just preface this and say that I am not the biggest foodie in the world. So I have not been to every single one of the most popular restaurants in Austin or in San Antonio. I've been to quite a few of them, but I can only speak from my personal experience. So don't you guys bash me for all the specific things that I'm going to leave out in this. But what I can tell you from experience that I know I know about is that San Antonio and the Hispanic culture of San Antonio will beat the socks out of Austin when it comes to tacos every single day of the week. It is not even close, and you can argue with me on that all day. I'll never sway to the other side. Now, with that, Austin is very, very much known for all of its eclectic food. It has quite a few of the crazy cool local restaurants, local breweries that everybody knows Austin for and and that is always something that Austin is going to have but one thing about San Antonio is that we have all those things too we have the Pearl we have I mean pretty much every restaurant at the Pearl is a cool little local dive that is really outstanding you have several places downtown and you have some of the best barbecue in the world here same goes for Austin Austin has probably one of the top five barbecue places maybe in the entire world in Franklin's and that will never be taken away from them but San Antonio also has quite a few awesome barbecue places. San Antonio, though, has that Tex-Mex and that Mexican food that just cannot be beat. Take that for what it's worth. I can't really speak to one being better than the other. They're both really great. But when it comes to tacos, I can tell you that San Antonio is by far and away better than Austin. So that covers it for our video today, guys. This is everything that you need to know about living in San Antonio, Texas versus Austin, Texas. We covered as much as we possibly could in this. I know that there's not everything. So again, guys, if you would please comment anything that I may have missed down below, hit that little like button. And um, also do not forget, if you're looking for anything and everything San Antonio, Texas or the surrounding areas, hit that subscribe button and hit that little bell so you're always notified when I do post new videos. And of course, guys, if you've made it this far and you are planning on moving to San Antonio or any of the surrounding areas in the near future or even to Austin in the very near future, I can connect you with an agent up there. Reach out to me, guys. I absolutely love getting those phone calls, emails, text messages from you guys every single day. Literally, I absolutely love it. So please, please do not hesitate to reach out to me. My information is right here, and I will definitely get back to you guys as soon as I possibly can on that. And until the next video, guys, I will see you all later. Bye.